first begin the game, they often start off by using one of the automatic assault rifles. All three rifles are solid choices for almost any situation, but they do have their differences, perks, and downsides. There are three assault rifles and war brokers, each with their own unique perks. The AK, the AR, and the SCAR. First I'll go over the most commonly used rifle, the AK. The AK rifle is based off the Kalashnikov rifle made by Russia, which is well known for its high damage but low reliability. In war brokers, this is no exception. When looking at the AK statistics, it dominates the other rifles at close range, but starts to falter at longer ranges. At close to medium range, the AK has the highest damage per second out of all the rifles, boasting whopping 487.5 DPS and 975 DPS for headshots. This means the AK can almost kill 3 players at full health in under a second. The AK also has the highest damage per shot out of the rifle at 65. This means it takes 6 shots to the body and only 3 to the head. Although the AK has some of the best damage in Warbrokers, it also has its downsides. One of the biggest downsides is its low accuracy and high damage fall off. Because of this, the AK quickly loses its usability at long ranges and becomes almost impossible to use at sniping distance. Now that we know the general overview of the AK, when and why should we use it? I believe the AK is an extremely strong choice with close range maps such as Tribute, Escape, Tomb, City Point, and Office. On these maps you are unlikely to see the effects of the AK's high damage fall off and inaccuracy. When using the AK, it is best to move unpredictably and always keep your ground at closer range weapons such as shotguns and the VSS. Now I will go over the much more reliable AR. Although the AR has less base damage than the AK, it starts to perform better at longer ranges due to its higher accuracy and lower damage fall off. The AR has a higher rate of fire, higher accuracy and lower recoil. Overall this makes the gun much more stable and easier to use. The AR also has faster bullet speed, making it easier to hit parachuting and moving targets. The AR has a base damage of 60, meaning it takes 4 shots to the head and 7 shots to the body. Even though the AK outclasses the AR at close range, the AR begins to outdamage the AK at longer ranges. Because of this, I'd recommend using the AR on longer range maps such as Desert, Flooded, Northwest, Pacific, Remagen, Southwest, and Temple. It is important to note that if your loadout already supports a long range weapon such as a sniper, it may be a better idea to use the AK at close range. Now I will go into the final rifle, the SCAR. When scoped in, the SCAR has pinpoint accuracy and the lowest recoil out of all the rifles. The SCAR is also the only rifle to have 40 bullets in the clip. This can help you do that extra little bit of damage or mow down multiple enemies. Out of all the rifles, the SCAR has the lowest damage per shot at 52. This means it takes 8 shots to the body and 4 shots to the head. Although the SCAR has the lowest damage per shot out of all the rifles, it makes up for this in fire rate. Because these factors balance out, this means the SCAR has very similar DPS to the AR. By this point the SCAR seems much better than the AR, but the SCAR has one major downside which makes it very hard to fight at close range. The moving hipfire accuracy of the SCAR is the lowest out of all the rifles. This can make it extremely difficult to fight at close range. I would mainly recommend using the SCAR as a substitute for the sniper. This is due to the weapon's high performance at longer ranges and how it is not very useful at close range. I would not recommend using the SCAR as a primary weapon unless you are confident in your ability to use it at close range. Overall, all the weapons have their perks and disadvantages, but their use mainly comes down to the distance. To make it easier to understand, I created a graph roughly showing when certain rifles should be used at certain distances. Keep in mind the graph is not perfect and rifle use is largely down to preference. As a general rule of thumb, remember the AK is best at close range, AR at mid range and SCAR at long range.
I think the idea for my next tutorial will either be map guides, such as an office guide or a tribute guide. Or, um, like a beginner mistakes video, like top 10 beginner mistakes. So, hopefully, you'll watch my next few videos, and thanks for watching.